Okay, so here's part two. We're going to take a look at um, adding a button here that's going to jump us to the next page. So remember up here, uh, we have our little navigation. Uh, we still added a page in here. Uh, I'm still editing page one though. So I'm just going to go back here to objects. I'm going to throw a button down here that when I click it will send me over to page two. So I'm just going to write in page two. Uh, click on my inspector while I have that guy highlighted. And for my actions, I'm going to select an action that um, will jump to page. So go to page, and then I can pick the page that I want to go to, so page 2. So again, I can change the look and feel of this by uh, taking a look at the inspector, using my alignment guides, um, so on and so forth. But we'll just uh, send this guy right here, and then we're going to jump over to page 2, and we're going to add some different objects in there. So on page 2, um, let's say I want to have them uh, go through a, a few different photos. Um, so I'm going to come down here to my multi-cell. Um, let's just, I guess, take a look at, um, oh, let's add in a gallery. Um, so if I add in a gallery, I can resize that um, to be whatever I want here. I'll just, I guess, make it big to begin. If I double click on it, I'm going to actually see how many preset cells there are. If I click on my settings, I can always insert more cells uh, before or after a particularly highlighted cell, or I can delete a cell. So I'm just going to add in three cells here, and I'm just going to go grab my photos from my finder window. So uh, I'm just going to grab this guy and uh, head back over here. And I got the green box around it, so I see that it's um, going to fall inside that frame. I can line it up. And I'm just going to go back here to the next one, do the same thing for the object two, and then come back here for picture number one. And so there I have all three of mine. So um, again, I can resize the, these photos here. I can scale them to fit. If I go over here to the inspector, um, I see that this is set to be the original size. I can scale it to fill um, that frame. Do the same thing. Oops. If I double click back on there, I can navigate through my photos, select this guy, um, scale to fill. I'll do the same thing with all of them so they fill those frames. Um, again, I can kind of change that right here. Uh, it looks like my reflection. Um, is not set, but if I turn that on, I can res um, set that reflection, get kind of a cool little look um, in my box. And then uh, and then go from there. If I want to preview it, take a look at it, see what it looks like, see how it's going to interact, I can preview it. Um, and remember, this is touch, um, touch controlled, so if you press down and slide left to right, you can slide through those photos. So pretty cool. Um, Let's go and add another object now. So if I go back over here to objects and turn my inspector off, um, let's take a look at just adding in um, a Google form. So a Google form can also be embedded using the HTML box. So again, for teachers, this is a great way to collect data. Okay, so I'm going to uh, insert a Google form here, um, and I'm just going to have it the length of that page so uh, students could you know flip through these different pictures and be asked to compare and contrast um, so again if I double click on that HTML box I'm going to be asked to copy and paste my HTML or in this case it's going to be my iframe from my Google Drive so if I come back here to my inbox and my drive I'm just going to grab a Google form so let's just take uh, this one here on circles. It's not real exciting, but just to show you that you can do this, um, you're going to click on send form, and then when you click on send, you're going to have the command to embed. So I'm just going to copy that command, or sorry, that iframe, head back over here to IAD producer, and paste it in there. So close that out and save it. Um, I'll see my form that's saved here. So it looks like my width might need a little bit of uh, adjusting. Um, but my height should be good. One thing you do have to be careful of if you create a large form right now, um, the IAD producer widgets won't scroll. So that's a bit of an issue. I haven't figured a work around for that yet. Uh, if you have figured that out, please let me know. Um, so try to get it to, to fit in the frame that you create for that embed code, if that all makes sense. So there we go, we got it to fit. 
and then students will be able to answer those questions and then hit submit. So the students um, submit their answers, teacher gets their answers on the other end.